Jason Chef says Chicago was a weld oil machine and a real family. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Before we get going, remember, we're trying to build a new computer. In eight years, we've never asked for anything except you to just to enjoy our videos. But if you can help out, we literally have to build a new computer. Our old one's dying. There are links in the description for PayPal. You can buy a t-shirt to help or you can join our Patreon. Here is Jason Chef. The thing is, I think people always expect, and listen, if I have a pink elephant in the room, I'm going to ask that question, of course. But one thing I've noticed with you in Chicago is you're very respectful and thankful. You have gratitude. You look back at those days, it seems, with pleasure. Uh, and the, the, the exit was, was classy. You've said it over and over again. People always, but they want dirt, but there isn't any dirt, is there? No. And the thing is, is that, you know, as a kid, when you're thinking, I'd like to be whatever, a rock star, I'd like to be larger than life. I realize I've gotten exactly what I could handle. I walked into something that's iconic, that is virtually impossible. And you better be at a certain level to, to pull something like that off. There was no fanfare when I came in, like no big announcement. And that's the way it should be. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a logo. And as I've done other interviews and they say, of course, it's not the same guy, but it, it is an extension of what that band is. And that's why it worked for over 30 years. And when I had to go home, I just love the fact that there's no big fit. Now, the fact that there's no quote unquote announcement, you know, is, is leaving things open for people to start kind of manufacturing ideas. But, you know, that's the other thing, John, that was so great is that like part of the, the price of admission is that if you have to, you have to move forward from something like that, there's going to be that area where people might get a little goofy and they did, you know, fans. It was really strange where, you know, and I, I get it. Some people are really upset because they're wondering, I want an explanation. It's like <laughs> the explanations out there, you know, and, the, and we went through a lot of tough times, man. A lot of tough, not just the, you know, the in-laws, but a lot of loss. And, yeah. you know, and so it was, it was called, from 23 years old, you've been in the spotlight in a certain sense. Not a superstar, but in a spotlight where you have to, like, really uh, be careful of a lot of things. What you say, what you do, this and that. How did you and navigate that, that? How did you navigate? It was easy, man, I'll tell you. Because, again, with a group like that and the fact that there really wasn't a super focused spotlight. Um, it was a, you know, it's a, it's a family and a, and a team and well-oiled machine and walking into like, dude, you're going to make a record and suddenly your, your voice and your image and likeness are at the top of the charts. And, and that's the funny thing too, is that it was comfortable for me. If I was, if I was a guy that was like, literally my name and focus out there i think i probably well i think i would have handled it but not like this this was easy to be in in this you know this backdrop of a logo and it's like yeah man bill bruford said the 70s were his best decade i said really he says i don't know i'm just there's something unapologetic but non-rude about it there's mm -hmm. he says you know i i'm i i just do what i i know what i like and there's just something about, I mean, I'm, I'm talking to so many people that are doing, they feel, at least being satisfied, more satisfied, even though they won't have hits with it, with the work they're doing now more so than even before. They're just, they're more, they're more in their body. They're more present. I don't know what it is. You know, what's nice about it is that when we all, it's so funny. When we all started, the reason we became successful is because we were doing it for the right reasons. I don't know anybody. There's probably a handful of people out there that literally were saying, here's my game plan. I'm going to do this, and, I, and I'm not going to rest until it's done. But most of the guys I know, that's not what we did. We were just having fun, and we had some gifts and talents that, that, that started taking us to, to places, you know. And, and now it's back to that. Once the record industry really started collapsing, I was 
I mean, I hated on one level that you know, we were going to put a lot of hard work into something and maybe, you know, it was going to be a loss or whatever, you know, but I, I embraced the idea that the only reason to do it now is for the sake of the art. And guess what? That's why it worked the first time around. So I, I'm, yeah, it's a real transitional period right now. And, you know, we could go into a rabbit hole. I'd love to do a longer interview at some point with you. Like we've, you know, kind of gone back and forth about doing about the record industry, all of the ins and outs of all this, but, but, you know, music streaming and all that stuff. I'm not a guy who's been afraid and appalled by that because I really, to me, it, it, it basically says, make sure it's great. Cause that's what I've seen is that a lot of, especially legacy artists are not putting the quality out that I think that, you know, just my opinion, you start with that. And that is the reason to, to, to create and put stuff out there. Then, you know, then you'll, then there's going to be a reason to consume, you know, and there's people that are doing real well in the, in the streaming services and that's the future. So make sure your stuff is great, get it out there and let's not worry so much about um, what's going to happen with it. And I, I just have all the faith in the world that everything's going to be fine. Do you think that the quality, we're not going to mention names, obviously, but the, some of the people you're thinking about, is the quality not there because they don't have to answer to anybody or because, or the other way around? I mean, well, everyone's wired differently, right? Some people, I do not work well under pressure and it takes me a long time to get self-motivated. But when that little train gets going, I'm good. I, look, I know myself, so I know mm -hmm. how I work. I think that um, the days of having like one ultimate gatekeeper coming into something and saying, this is the producer. That's what's so great about having been involved with Chicago is there's always been, and I can see that it's still happening. There's always been somebody that says, listen, there's a standard of excellence that we have to make sure that we are going after. So you need to put the right person in position to make sure that happens. I think with a lot of other bands that I've seen that, that just, it, it's my opinion and interpretation that I think that that's, what's missing is that there is a, whatever you want to call it, a producer or a leader that just doesn't really understand, um, you know, and that's where I think, you know, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of great stuff. So that's the end of the three parts of our first half hour interview with Jason. As I mentioned before, we talked for half an hour. He says, I want to talk to you some more. I've got another interview coming up for half an hour. Can we talk at the top of the hour? I said, of course. And then we talked for two and a half hours. So in three days, we're going to start the next interview. Of course, the first half hour is available right now. You can check the description to see that for the video or the podcast. Remember, support the channel. You can. We're trying to build a new computer right now because the old one is literally dying. And that's the computer that basically does all our videos. We have a PayPal link where you can donate. You can buy a t-shirt, help support the channel, or join our Patreon. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care.